Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Good morning, everybody. How are we? Welcome back to another episode of Making Gains. And today's episode is not going to be about lifting, unfortunately, guys. It's going to be it's going to be about me and what is coming for the future. What you know, what what goals have I got for the future? Because everyone needs goals, man. And I'm going to bring you guys outside to uh, bring a little bit of light in here. Bring a a little bit of positivity into this vlog because, you know, truth be told, that's what I need. I need positivity in my life right now. Um, and we'll get into that. But uh, so, unless you've been living under a rock, you may know that I have recently started CrossFit and it's been about a week and a half and I'm enjoying myself a lot. Um, one thing that I've struggled with, obviously, is to include both bodybuilding and CrossFit training. And I mentioned in the previous video, when I'm down at CrossFit and I'm going hard, personally at the moment, I really think that that sort of workout is gonna suit uh, a shredding diet, suit a cutting diet. So basically what I've decided to do, guys, is to go head first into a cut. And you know, it's not gonna be drastic, it's not gonna be so, it's not gonna be like a mini cut like I did before I went to Thailand. It's gonna be more so probably about eight weeks. It's gonna be get, you know, to get my, my body back into a good shape, uh, back down to a good weight where, you know, certain things that we're doing at CrossFit are gonna be a lot easier if I do drop a couple of kgs. Um, I'm probably at about 18% body fat right now and it's sloppy. And you know, I tried to do a handstand push up yesterday, for example, and um, I didn't even get one. And you know, if I dropped five, eight kgs or something, I certainly, I would be able to do it. And it's th things like doing tricep dips on rings. Um, you know, obviously it's technique, but the fact is, is that the body weight is gonna affect how many you can do. Things like muscle ups, pull ups, everything, running. You know, if I, if I can just clean up, clean up my body just to, by, if I can just clean up my body by a few, you know, body fat percentage points, I think it'll put me in a great position to continue training with CrossFit. So the plan is to still continue the bodybuilding training. As of right now, I've been I've been at CrossFit for probably a week and a half, and I'm assessing how much I can actually fit in, depending on whether I'm working or not. If I'm working in a daytime from seven till seven, unfortunately the CrossFit gym isn't open 24 hours, so. The last class, I think, finishes at about 6.30 at night, and the first one starts at 6.15 in the morning. So unfortunately, if I'm doing a day shift at work, I won't be able to go to CrossFit, and on those days, I'll be hitting the gym after work, if not before, uh, the 24-hour gym that I go to. So, you know, days that I've got a day shift, it's obviously not CrossFit, it's gym. Days that I've got off recently, I've been going to CrossFit in the morning at nine, and then hitting a, a gym workout after that. Or going to the gym in the morning and then doing a CrossFit workout in the afternoon. So on my days off, I've got basically two a days at the moment. And then on a night shift, and then, and then if I've got night shift, it's basically up to me. It's like, if I've got, if I get a couple hours sleep at work the night before, maybe I'll feel good enough to go to the gym. If not, then, uh, excuse me. That dog is extremely annoying and I'm not going to deal with it right now. So like I was saying, both CrossFit and bodybuilding I am incorporating into my lifting schedule right now. It's still in a little bit of a trial phase and we're just working out you know, how much I can actually handle. So for example, I went really hard on deadlifts one day and then you know, two, usually I, I probably need three, four, even five days recovery before I can even think about doing something like a squat or, or another deadlift. But I went into a CrossFit workout, and obviously we were, you know, we were doing squats, um, and I just had to check my ego at the door, which is what you have to do, and I had to lower the weight, and I was basically lifting fuck all because my back was still stuffed from deadlifts. But that's that's a that's a prime example of how I'm going to have to structure it properly because, you know, the different workouts at CrossFit are going to be based around different movements. So if I've got something that's going to involve my back coming up, I know that I'm not going to be able to hit deadlifts for, you know, four days before that. If my back is sore as fuck and I've got a workout coming up that's including back movements, I probably shouldn't go, to be honest. I'll go to the gym instead and train some chest or train some arms. 
Um, so that's how I'm doing it at the moment. I am like what I can say, guys, is that I am really enjoying CrossFit. I do really want to become an athlete, like I said in a previous video. You know, I want to be functional. I want to be strong. I want to be lean. I want to look impressive. You know, and I want to. I want my body to be able to do impressive things, like like these muscle ups and dips and fucking. You know, I need to get my pace back. You know, I used to be fucking fast, really fast runner, and I haven't done any sprinting for a long time. So we're doing running with CrossFit. We're doing all sorts of Olympic lifting, we're doing, you know, metabolic conditioning, cardio, uh, body weight stuff, calisthenics, uh, I'm practicing handstand push-ups, I'm practicing muscle-ups, I'm practicing doing dips on rings, I'm doing box jumps, I'm doing burpees, you know, it's, <laughs> there's so much shit involved and it's fucking awesome, I love it. I love physical activity, I love a challenge, and that's what it certainly is. But going forward, guys, like a like I was saying, geez, geez I, I really do start rambling sometimes. Um, as far as my body composition goes, I do need to drop a couple of kgs. I want to clean things up. So basically, going forward, I couldn't say that I'm going to track everything because usually when I say that, I don't. But you know, I do. I can eyeball things pretty pretty well now, and I am going to just clean things up. So you know, I'll take out the junk. Basically, I'm eating half junk, half clean, and I have done for this entire bulk because. That's just the only way I can get that amount of calories down. The food still needs to taste nice to me. I'm not going to eat shit food. I'm not going to eat bland food. Um, so, yeah, it's basically half clean, half half junk. And what I'll do is I'll just start taking out the junk, uh, basing my meals around a good quality protein source and, you know, minimal fats, few carbs, uh, carbs before and after training, so I, I burn them off. Uh, minimal carbs other times, it'll be protein and fats most of the time. And you know, that alone, as well as the added calories that I'm burning through CrossFit, is definitely going to start shaking me up. So, there's a couple of physiques down at CrossFit that I look at and I think, fuck yeah, I want to look like that. And all I have to do to start looking like that is to basically bring my midsection in a little bit. So, I'm excited to do that and it shouldn't take too long. Um, but I'm sure I'll let you know how we're going. So, basically, guys. This series is called Making Gains, but right now, Making Gains to me is about making CrossFit gains, I'm not going to lie. And also continuing my gym work to maintain the muscle whilst cutting down a little bit to just shape up a little bit. That's, that's how I see things going. So we're at like day 200 and, fuck it must be near day 290 to be honest of Making Gains. And we're continuing it to 365, regardless of whether I'm bulking or cutting. So I hope you guys are enjoying the, uh, the videos. I'm at, the next video, I'm actually going to take the camera down to the CrossFit box. That's what they call it. And we're going to do an open gym session. And they basically open up the whole gym, all the equipment for everyone to use. Trainers are there at the time. Um, you know, other, other people that are, other members are there. So you can bounce off them. Um, you just basically choose what you want to do and there's, you know, there's seven or eight racks. Uh, you pick up a barbell, pick up your plates and fucking go start lifting. So, tomorrow we're going to do legs. I'm going to do an open gym leg session. Two movements I'm going to do. Squats and walking lunges. Because we've got an amazing fucking area there. All these racks, you know, no dumbbells. Um, no machines. So it's all, it's all, you know body weight, it's all functional stuff, so I can't wait, we're going to do squats, we're going to do walking lunges, and then after that I'm going to fucking get in a handstand push up, one handstand push up, that is the goal, because I struggled big time when I tried last time, so obviously it's all about technique, it's all about practice, but I definitely have the strength to do at least one, although when you think about it, if I've got all of my weight above me and I'm trying to do a handstand push up, that's like shoulder pressing 100 kg. And there's no fucking way I'd be shoulder pressing 100 kg. So maybe, maybe I do really need to lose this weight and then I'd be doing better. But uh, time will tell, guys. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm enjoying myself. I mentioned at the start of the video I need a little bit of positivity in my life. And if you've made it to the end of this video, you, may actually, you must actually have a little bit of interest in my personal life. And all I've got to say is that, you know, recently I've been feeling heartbroken. That's... That's, that's the only way I can describe it. Um, if I had to explain what happened briefly, um, there's a girl who, who I have wanted for a long time, wanted to be mine basically, my girlfriend, and um, I had to 
uh, sit back and you know watch her create a relationship with another guy for the last two and a half years, whatever. We so basically, um, you know, there's been reason for me to believe that things were going to happen between us with you know over the last few years, here and there. And um, recently we got quite close again for whatever reason and I thought that this was going to be it. I thought this, you know, I, like, I, like I've said in previous videos, I'm ready for, I'm ready for the family vibe, you know, I'm ready to settle, I'm ready to, you know, commit to a fucking relationship. I'm 26 now, it's like, I'm over, I don't, I don't want to just fuck random girls anymore. Let's be honest, I'm being real here guys, it's, it's more so about the future for me and so I put all my eggs in one basket for a couple of months there recently and um, really fully committed and believed that something was going to happen and unfortunately you know I think that attitude of mine being so you know so full on I guess um, has once again fucked it up for me and uh, she's called it off and you know there wasn't anything there in the first place, to be honest. So it's probably me being a bit stupid, but the reality is that it feels like I lost a lot. I lost, I lost, you know, everything. That's what it felt like because, like I said, I put everything emotionally into trying to to make this work. And you know, maybe everything happens for a reason, guys. I believe that. I think. If it, you know, timing's clearly not right, and it hasn't been previously. It, you know, three times now, the timing, the timing hasn't been right, and I guess it just comes down to the fact that it's not going to be right. It really isn't, and I've got to move on. Once again, I've moved on three times in the past, and this rec this this most recent time has definitely been the hardest to have to try and move on again from. But yeah, that's it, man. Someone else will come along. It's just Alice Springs is an extremely small pool of fish in the grand in the grand scheme of things. It really is. There's thirty there's twenty six thousand people that live here and um I could count the girls on one hand that I've been interested in in the last five years. I'm just being real. So, you know, hopefully once this whole issue gets out of my head completely and I stop thinking about her again, which is you know, it seems like that's never going to happen, but it, it will. Time heals all. And uh, once I stop thinking about her the way I am, and once the emotions start to pass, um, it'll all be good. But, you know, when I'm feeling like that, what I need is something to dive into, something to put my attention on. You know, I, I can't be dwelling, sitting, sitting around doing fuck all, thinking about things for too long. So CrossFit has helped. And, um, and yeah. CrossFit and the gym has helped, and it's helped in the past, you know, gym, gym has helped me get through some stuff, and it, uh, it helps a lot of people get through some stuff, but I'm being dramatic, man, we weren't even together, I wasn't with this girl, I never have been with this girl, probably never will be with this girl, so I better, I better forget about her fucking quick, or else I'm just going to make myself depressed, and no one needs that, so with that said, guys... Let's, uh, let's forget about that for now. That was a little bit of me. If you did make it to the end of this video, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me rant about shit that I have no control over. Which really sucks, you know, that's the hard thing, isn't it? Wanting something so badly but not having any control over the outcome. Damn. Oh well. I'll see you, at the next, I'll see you down at the CrossFit box in the next video for a leg workout and a handstand push-up. Peace.